Hello there, this is Dominic again. In this IELTS listening video, I want to talk to you about how you can get better IELTS listening skills. The first point to see is that there are skills to listening, just in the same way as there are skills in writing. One problem I think a lot of candidates have one mistake I think a lot of candidates make is they think they just need to do practice test after practice test. If you do that, you're unlikely to improve your skills, you're unlikely to improve your score, or if you do, it will only happen slowly. What I'm going to suggest to you is that there are six, seven, eight different listening skills. And if you want to improve your listening score, you need to work on these skills. What you're looking at here is a page on my website, the main listening page, where I list these skills. I want to talk you through them. The first skill is the ability to predict answers understand the context. Perhaps two different things there. This is something which you do before you listen, partly anyway. If you listen well, or if you want to listen well, it helps to know what you are going to listen to. So, in the IELTS listening test, you want to read the questions first, Perhaps guess predict answers, but more, I think, to help you understand the context. What that means is, what are you going to listen to? The idea is, if you know what you're going to listen to, generally, then you'll listen much, much better. An example, if the question says, what time does the bank manager ask to see the client, you will understand immediately, you will be listening to, in a moment, a conversation between two people, a bank manager and a client. And they'll be talking about details of opening account, perhaps. Now, the other half of that is, and this is what nor normally teachers say, is you look at the questions and predict the answers. That's skill number one. Skill number two, obvious one, is the ability to recognise words. The normal listening thing. And the better your vocabulary, the better you will listen. However, I have a very serious point to make here. The way IELTS listening works is it's not only about hearing words. You cannot read the word in the question and say, I am going to listen for that word. What you are always, always doing in IELTS is listening for meaning. The words, what some teachers call keywords, do one thing and one thing only. They tell you where the answer is, not what the answer is. That's skill number two. Skill number three is related to that. What I say on my website is the ability to understand paraphrase. And this is a core skill. That means a very, very important skill in IELTS listening. The way IELTS listening work is that in the question, you'll see one word, but in the listening text, what you hear, you may hear something which is simply similar in meaning. It's not the same word. Let me give you an example. The question says, where do you want to live? You may think, live, that's the important word. I'm going to listen for live. But in the listening text, what you hear is the word flat. 
apartment, house, or maybe accommodation. So, if you want to listen better for IELTS, don't listen for words, listen for the meanings of words. What teachers call paraphrase, essentially. Now, the next point is IELTS listening goes on for a long time. You're listening for 20-25 minutes. The whole text, test takes 30 minutes. You've got some pauses. That's a long time to concentrate. You cannot concentrate 100% all the way through. What you need to do is switch in, switch out. Sometimes you're listening at 90%, then you hear something which you think, right, here's the answer coming soon. Then you switch to 100%. Learn to do that and you'll learn to listen better. On my website I say, learn to, f or the ability to follow signpost language, especially in a lecture. Section 4 of the listening is the longest and supposed to be the hardest task. You hear someone talking for a long time. You may listen for a whole minute and not hear an answer. You may lose track of where you are. So what you want to do is learn this skill. Listen for words firstly or I'm now going to talk about. If you can identify that sort of language, that will help you keep track of where you are in relation to the questions. The fifth important skill is this. In sections one and section three, you have discussions or conversations, two people talking at the same time. That is, sometimes harder than simply listen to one person. I know from my experience of speaking foreign languages, I'm quite good at listening, talking to one person, but I get confused if I have two people talking. And you need to practice that skill. And one particular difficulty you need to know about here is that very often one person will say one thing and then the other person contradicts, says the opposite. So one person says, let's meet on Tuesday. And the other person says, oh, I'm sorry, I'm busy on Tuesday. Can you make Wednesday? And what you need to do there is keep on listening. Listen for the meaning again. Something I tell my students a lot. Listen for meaning. Don't listen for words. Listen for meaning. And with two people, you have to follow the conversation. Now, item number six is a huge one, and it goes together with item number seven, note-taking and spelling. IELTS listening is hard because you may hear, you may understand, but you still get the question wrong. Why? Because you, in Four of the types of questions you need to write down answers. It's not a listening test, it's a listening, understanding and writing test. The reason for this is IELTS is used for university entrance. This is what you need to do at university. Problem. Some of the words you need to write down are long words. Let's take the word accommodation. A double C. That's got 11 letters. Hmm. If you write down the whole word accommodation, what has happened? You have stopped listening. If you've stopped listening, you're going to get more questions wrong. So, very simple suggestion. Learn to make notes. So, when you hear accommodation, write down something like A double C or A double C O M. You need to practice that skill because notes are a personal thing. You need to make notes which make sense to you. And that brings me on neatly to item number seven. At the end of a listing, you have 10 minutes to fill out the answer sheet.
In the reading paper, you have to fill it out as you go. In the listening, they give you time. Use this time wisely. Make sure that the words you put in are spelt correctly. OK, um, that's enough for this video. A little summary for you. As I mentioned at the beginning, IELTS listening is not about doing practice. Better IELTS listening is about practicing your listening skills.